What's up everyone, I am Silas as welcome to my YouTube channel Arc Studio. Today uh, we will be discussing something known as SerbD which is the most powerful tool out in Rhino 3D which is used so as to create organic ships. Okay, if you like contents related to architecture and design, uh, do subscribe and follow Arc Studio. So let us see what we can do with that uh, SerbD. So when you, once you come into the into the interface of Rhino, you will come into such a interface where in which you have like four ports that is one of the top perspective right and the front port so if you double click on any of this you will basically come inside that port yeah i'm just double clicking on the front so you can see that i just came onto here from here i just i'm just going to make uh, the shape that i basically made in the thumb line and uh, for that i'm just using the polyline tool and polyline is nothing but a line tool that is used so as to create the uh, uh create a continuous line okay i'm just clicking and i'm just creating a a, a, a shape uh, basically a gun shape and uh, with the help of uh, this tool and then again once more i'm pressing the polyline so as to create the trigger shape okay uh, the trigger that we use so i'm just creating the trigger and you can see that i just made the shape and if you double click on the front that is uh, on the top uh, corner you can see that we basically came to the uh, back to the port okay ports and now you can see that you have the different views out here now what i'm going to do is i am going to create a surface for it okay for creating surface before creating surface go to the drop down menu of this perspective and or any viewport and make sure that it is in shaded okay if you are not in shaded motion you will not uh, you will not get the surface okay you will not get the surfaces in rhino uh, you, uh, you will not view the surfaces it will be basically a mesh that is going to be occurred okay now what i'm going to do is i am selecting it and create extruding this surface for that what i'm going to do is when the solid creation out here there is a menu drop here you just drop it down and you can see that there is an option known as extrude planar uh, planar curves you can just select it and then you can move it okay in this top uh, top uh, viewport you can basically move it adjust it and you can create it you can see that you basically made the base model this is not the base model for our creation okay now what we need to do is we need to make this into a mesh now what you are seeing is basically a nerve now nerve is nothing but it is a mathematical equation that has been made so as to create a model out in rhino so uh, uh so what we now need to do is we need to cr create this nerve into a mesh so as to make a serb okay so that is the flow nerve to mesh mesh to serb and then you can revert back to nerve or you can revert back to mesh or so so this is the chain that is occurring basically when you work in rhino so this is one plus point of rhino basically you can go up and down as well in this uh, software so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it and then you there's an option out here known as in the standards known as a mesh from the serves. Okay, just click on it. You can see that a, a dialog box appears like this known as poly mesh option. You can basically lower it up and down and then give okay. And now you can see that a mesh is being formed out here. Okay, this is a mesh. Okay, a mesh is being created so as to form this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm selecting it and then uh, typing serve to mesh sub d to sub d from mesh okay you can see a option comes about here just click it now you can see that there is a option on a crease no output serve d level zero control add controller no so what is this is output is that it is going to create a serve d you can either create the output as a serve d you can create it as a mesh you can create it as a nerve so i don't require any of this and you basically need to create this crease as no if you create crease as yes what happens is these surfaces will be flat itself okay now you want it to be an organic one so we basically need to creep it as creases to be no and then press enter you can see that something has occurred but you are not able to see the thing because because it is getting inside okay it has basically happened inside the model so what you need to do is that this jump ball is basically used so as to push it out or pull it out pull it out, out or inside so the arrow key, arrows that has been shown here, I'm just uh, clicking on this uh, red arrow and just pulling it out. Okay, you can now see that your model has been 
made there is an organic model that has been from the base model of this has been made so i'm just deleting the base model now and just going to perspective and then you can see that you can basically has created an organic shape out of it cool so now what uh, we have to do is if we want to edit it you can basically turn on the points or you can basically select the each surfaces that has been made for each surfaces to be selected what you need to do is you need to press control uh, control shift and then you need to select the surface okay now it just selected one surface then you can basically pull it up or pull it down so as to align it okay you can again press control shift uh, control and shift and select the surface so as to move it and so as to create it uh, into a really good uh, a proportionality also and just play with it so as to create a better form or so and then i'm just uh, so that's how you basically makes a nubs uh, you basically make a sub d out of your out of a base model so that's the model that we have basically made now what i just did is i just uh, changed this mode from shaded to arctic okay and then you can see that this is the model that we created thank you